hard. He hits fucking hard. He came back. Shit. You hit hard too, though. Obviously, man, that was that was some crazy stuff in there. I saw him getting a little tired, so I was like, "Gotcha." But fucking hits hard, man. Uh, talk about this in terms of a win for you. I mean, I. I don't want to, let's not dwell on the losses, just like you said in the cage, but was this the most important win in your career, given the fact that you had lost three straight? You know, um, from a side note, as far as USC goes, you know, they give you three strikes. I mean, my contract's a little different, of course, but for me, I just didn't want to have that many losses in a row. And, you know, I have to go back to the drawing boards and try to fix as much as I can. It's a single sport, you know, it's not really a team sport unless you have your coaches, so I just try to fix my holes, but coming in here with the lights, I was always afraid of the light, of course, but the second round I had to wake up and say, you know what, I need to be here more in the future because I have no control over that, but the present is what I really control, so I just bit down and I said F it, and usually when I say F it, <laughs> spectacular things, things happen, yeah. Well, what do you mean by be here more in the future? Be here more in terms of fighting more or be more in the moment in the cage? Be more in the moment yeah. in the cage because, you know, you worry about your losses, you worry about what they're thinking, you worry about, oh my God, I can't lose again. Instead of saying, oh my God, there's someone in front of me, let me try to punch him in the face or look at his weaknesses. You know, your mind usually plays a lot of tricks on you. I'm one of those head cases, but I'm continuing to do it because I'm not good at it and I'm trying to perfect it. You mentioned that to us many times before. That I don't want to call it a head case, you called it a head case. <laughs> but, but, but that kind of that mental part of the game and how there is a fear of getting in there and it's not necessarily a fun thing all the time. It's not because I, I don't come from that background and martial arts taught me to have discipline and self-defense reasons not to go out and kill someone. So the killing mentality I don't have, but to pick someone apart, you know, it's more like a puzzle for chess for me. I get more amused from that. If I can find your weakness, exploit it, from a competitive standpoint, I feel good. Talk us through the first round if you can and, and what went on there. Uh, how badly did he have you hurt and how much of that was you just saying, all right, let's stay calm and work through this and try and get back to the feet and figure things out? I mean, there was a slight moment where I was like, oh man, this is it, I think I'm done. But you know what? Um, it was kind of like the Musashi moment again. I was like, it's not over. It's not over. I'm still here. I feel pain. I've been through pain before, but it's not over. And I just kept biting down and survived the round. And I realized the second round, he was just gasping. I was like, I'm, I'm in shape. What am I doing? Why am I doubting myself? How important is a win like this to show future opponents, hey man, Uriah Hall is still here, he hasn't gone anywhere? It's more important to win for myself. Uh -huh. I mean, in this type of sport, you know, I, I don't like to play the game, but I'm gonna have to, <laughs> but I'd rather uh, play the game and leave the cards. But it was more for me, you know? I mean, it's good on paper, but it was more for me to prove to myself that I still belong here and I'm still good. What's uh, what's next? What do you want next? How soon do you want to get back in there? Um, probably December. You know, um, I'm sore. My my right side, I can't feel it. But my left side, <laughs> I can't feel my face. But I just want to go home and think about it a little bit and come to my senses before I make irrational decisions. And of course, you know, um, I had a good coach come in here, so I got to sit down with them.